I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, good evening, everyone. Oh, yeah. Call the meeting to order at 7.03 p.m. And we'll move on to item number three, public comment. Is there any public comment? Is there any public comment? Hearing no public comment, we'll move on to item number four, which is approved minutes from the August 20, 2019 regular meeting. Can I have a motion to do so? Motion by Bob, second by Anne Marie. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Opposed? Abstain? Abstain. Uh, chair votes aye. Motion passes 601. And please note L's abstention. Uh, item number five, first selections report. Just a quick one tonight. Rory handed out to you um, a new policy and procedure process that um, Chris Pelosi, our director of HR, would like to put into uh, effect. Um, he would like the blessing of this board. So we're giving this to you tonight to review. Uh, if you want to reach out in between now and our meeting two weeks for now to talk directly to Chris, you're certainly welcome to. If not, we will have him at that meeting to discuss. Um, and then hopefully we will go ahead and uh, move these policies and procedures forward. But again, I want to give everybody an opportunity to review it and ask any questions. Trish, I believe he's meeting with you at some point um, to kind of go over stuff to see how this might fit in the strategic plan and some of the other stuff. Um, that's been going on. So uh, that, and then we are very close to finishing the negotiations with the Seymour Police Union. Uh, we had a very good session today. Um, we've taken care of uh, just about all of the financials. We have tentative agreement on all of those. Uh, we are working out two last pieces. One has to do with light duty, um, and the other has to do with the potential of a new shift schedule. Um, where we left it is that the union and management will get together and will come up with um, some type of uh, suggestion that we can use on a trial basis by December 1st, um, and then we'll kind of go forward from there. So uh, based on this conversation, Brian LeClaire was actually with us today. Brian and Tony Bento, who is the union's attorney, they're going to finalize some language. Um, at that point, I would expect uh, probably in October we'll have uh, that warrant come in and kind of go through the contract, all the different items with everyone so they're aware and up to speed. This contract is not due or not up, I should say, until uh, July of 2020. So there's plenty of time, but we're just trying to get it out of the way now. Um, the police are, are actually pretty easy to, to negotiate with. So, I mean, they want what they want, but uh, I think everything is, is going well. So. so with that, we will close the first selectman's report. And we will move on to item number six, executive session. Uh, and for that executive session, it's litigation. It's the town of Seymour versus Edward Harris. So at this point, I'd like to entertain a motion that the Board of Select can go into executive session at 7.06 p.m. and that we invite town attorney uh, Richard Baterla to join us. So motion by Al, second by Anne-Marie. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstained? Uh, chair votes aye. Motion passes. Seven zero. Let's turn off their mics.